Seeds of Hope, Stories for Lent. In the story seeds that are the Gospels, we find Jesus' beautiful teaching on the greatest commandment. It's here that Jesus tells us that the first and greatest of all the commandments is to love God with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind, with all our strength. But he doesn't stop there. He adds a second commandment, and that's to love others as ourselves, suggesting that the two go together. The question is, how can we do this? How can you love God with all your heart and love others as yourself? We all know this isn't easy. To help answer this, I looked to someone whom I believe was one of the greatest examples of love that I've ever known in my life, St. Mother Teresa of Calcutta. Wouldn't, wouldn't you agree? She was a woman who truly was a living saint because she loved God with all her heart and loved others every bit as much as she loved herself. How did she do this? I was privileged to meet her on several occasions and to speak with her. I heard her explain this very thing. She told us that every day and all throughout the day, she prays to God, give me your heart of love. She believed, she truly believed, that when she shared that love with others, she was sharing love with Jesus himself. As part of my Jesuit training, I worked with the Missionaries of Charity for one summer in Kathmandu, Nepal, and later in Calcutta, India, at a home for the dying. There I witnessed firsthand how powerful this love in action can be. To have the heart of Jesus is to have a heart of service. To love Jesus, we must love others. When we love others, we fall more deeply in love with Jesus. It's as simple and as difficult as that. This Lent, let's pray to Jesus to receive his heart of love and your life will never be the same. It will be filled with his life, his love, <laughs> and his joy. Amen? Amen. From the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 22, verse 37, Jesus said, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength. Watering the seeds. Who are the people you know you could do a better job of trying to love? What are some ways you will try to enable yourself to love the people you mentioned above? To all of the viewers of Shalom TV throughout the world, I want to encourage you not only to support this amazing media apostolate, but to spread the word to others. We all know how the internet and mass media are polluting the world with the poison of pornography and so much other forms of materialism. This is the source of eternal life, the gospel, and Shalom TV is consecrated to spreading the word of Christ. Thank you. Shalom World, God's own channel.